Okay, so you might have seen the previous video, the CD player Toho karaoke thing. Let's go with a bit of more in-depth uh, review of this project because, well, of course, the DIY project for 2025 would be a CD player. So what we have here is a bog standard ESP32 rover, the the one with uh, 8 megabytes of memory and 8 megabytes of RAM, even though I'm not using the high memory area, so for me it's like 4 megabytes of RAM. Uh, a few bodge wires here and there, but also you can see like a PCM5102 DAC there, WM8805 SPDF receiver, and uh, an ID port course in 2025. There's also a VFD display that I got off an old arcade machine. Of course a power switch because uh, you need to turn this thing down off somehow and a infrared receiver. You can also attach a button board to control this thing with physical buttons, but I didn't bother because there's not much space on the bench for now. Anywho, let's turn it on and see what it does. It shows the logo for a few seconds while it connects to the Wi-Fi and does all the initialization stuff, and here we are in the CD mode. For the remote I'm using a PS2 remote, because they are cheap, easy to find, they feel better than the, you know, the card remotes you can cheaply buy online these days, and they're also useless to most people these days, so, perfect option. So let's go in the settings menu. Yeah, you can see this display is a little bit burnt out, because it's been operating on a daily basis in the arcade. Anywho, you have the source selection and the settings. In settings you have like the box standard Wi-Fi scan. The CD, which lets you turn lyrics on or off. As well as uh, whether you want to cache metadata and where do you want to cache it from. This supports music brains and CDDB. You can actually specify your own CDDB server if you want, but I'm using GNUDB, which is the successor to the original CDDB. It also allows you to select where you want to retrieve lyrics from. It supports our CLib, the recent timed lyrics repository that is open source. Also NetEase, uh, QQ Music. It has last of integration. You can just log in with your username and password and turn it on. It will scrubble to your last of profile. Radio stations is just a station editor. You can set the preset name and preset URL, all that box standard stuff. Bluetooth, you can set the device name. That's a good one. I don't know why I said this to it, but let's change it to something more sensible. You can use the remote like as a phone keyboard, so I just press the same button and it types. Cool. You can turn the pin code off, you can set it to auto-connect, all that kind of stuff. System has the language setting, you have English, Russian and Japanese. You can switch which modes you want to toggle through when using the physical mode button. Allow or not the Arduino OTA firmware upgrade. So like if you're not developing on this network, you can turn it off so that nobody flashes a rogue firmware onto your ESP32. Check for updates does nothing for the time being. NTP server, full reset. 
and the about just shows the firmware versions, memory and whatnot, like the memory that's used for cache that is. So let's try with the simplest one, let's try with Bluetooth, which is going to connect to my iPhone right here. And it has, I don't have any music on it, so I'm using just Apple Music Radio. Once I start playing, you can see the metadata comes up on the screen. The scrolling is kind of slow because I'm using double buffering and this display is connected over serial at a pretty low bitrate. If I didn't use hardware double buffering, it would be much faster, but then it's kind of wobbly, so I opted for the slower one. And I can turn the volume up just a little bit. I can do it from the remote as well. And I have to talk over this because otherwise this is going to get copyright protected. So I'll click pause and it pauses. I click play. And I have to talk again, but it continues. I click pause and it pauses the phone. So it does have all the AVRC stuff. Then we can switch to radio. Now it turns off Bluetooth and it turns the radio on. For the radio you can have up to six presets because, well, if you wanted more you would just use your computer. Let's set it to preset number four, which is Relax FM apparently. Shows the metadata. It's buffering, connecting. It takes a little bit of time. And there you have the music which is again gonna get me a copyright so I have to talk over it so I press one real quick switch to another station which is happyhardcore.com also a very decent station and once that loads it takes a little while because ESP32 is not fast wow that was loud anywho you get the idea it's just a radio now we press the CD button and we can open the tray and put a disc in. I'm not using anything super popular, but not very obscure either. Austro Marriers Records, uh, The Brilliant Flowers, which is a Toho cover album. Put the CD in there and close the tray. Now, because all the drives have different specs, sometimes the status on the screen does not update real quick because it has to consider all the weird protocols that some drives implement. But here you can see it loaded the title for the disk and it can also do track names and artist names because all of the tracks on this disk were done by different artists. So if we hit play here, it should start playing. We can do all things like uh, fast forward. or rewind but the most fun thing is you can press the subtitle button on the remote um, not shuffle subtitle and it shows you the lyrics to the song in real time And yes, even if the song is that obscure, like, I don't think there's many websites that have lyrics to the Toho covers. It does auto-size the fonts, so that it always fits the text on the screen the best it can. In some songs it also does the word rap, but it's not very common in Japanese, of course, because you don't have like the traditional punctuation and whatnot, so it's kind of hard to do. So it just falls back to a smaller font by default. And you can also put it into standby, which shuts down the drive as well. So like it's not spinning right now, I cannot open it, but if I take it out of standby, it's going to start up and now I can take the disk out just fine.
So yeah, kind of small little neat project. Oh, and I forgot to show you last FM, which I'm gonna do right now. Let me log into my last FM profile and put a disk into play. Oh wait, I don't need to because apparently since I scrolled far enough, it just scrolled it. So if I go here on my profile, you can see it just scrolled this uh, second hand by, I forgot the renew of those kanji. But anyway, it is from Austro Maria Records if you click on this. Yep. So oh, right there, if I can show this, yeah. So yeah, it does scroll to last FM. And that is how a CD player would look like if it was made in 2025. Future plans, hopefully a case. Hopefully something else uh, like, you know, HTTP firmware updates and whatnot. And I'm going to build at least five of these because that was the minimal order for the PCBs. So drop me a line if you want to buy one. I'll just be happy to share with you. Otherwise, everything is on the GitHub and the GitHub will be in the video description. That's it for today and catch you next time.